So we got Koromu versus uh, Kira. Got a run back of winners finals. You didn't get to see winners finals, so but I think it's okay. Oh. Then Karomu just went for a panic read at that point. Oh, missed the punish. So if it's one thing I've always felt with this matchup, right, is that Shadow Mewtwo is kind of like that character who's like, I don't want to play. Oh, really? Crazy. Oh, he's got to take this mix up now. Minus eight. Minus eight. Okay, he lived. So now you have this last mix up. It's not enough to kill, though. Oh, it's enough to kill. I don't even know how much scaling that is. It's probably way more than actually I actually know about it. But if it's one thing, I've always felt like uh, in this matchup, Shadow Mewtwo is like, I don't want to see my counter, my brother, in any form or fashion, so please get away from me while I throw everything at you. Like, he's like the little kid that's running in the, that's running in the hallways. But he, he chucks everything in the way to make it harder for you to run, to run after him. Oh, what a JY. Good whiff punish. Wow. That was good. Oof. I like how Karomu's playing. He's 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 switching up between uh letting Kira think that he needs to chase down, and then the moment he thinks about that, he's like, "All right, I'm right here in your face. I'm ready to put. I'm ready to rush you down." And it's, it's throwing Kira off guard because Kira can't stay. In one style for too long. Because when you get. He's getting caught. And then next thing you know. It's like. Alright. I'm going to chase you down. I get what punished. Let me. Let me condense it. And then Shadow Mewtwo gets to go in. And get. To be aggressive afterwards. If it's one thing I find. Yeah, hey, you're stuck. Oh. If it's one thing about sh playing against Shadow Mewtwo, it's always a very small instances where it, when you make a mistake, it, it basically just snowballs to Shadow Mewtwo getting a bunch more damage. Oh, good, JY. It went straight through armor. And now he's going to have to deal with burst pretty soon. Oh, no fire punch. See, and I feel like partially that Kira is respecting uh, these jump, jump ins too much. Oh, no confirm off of it. Admittedly, that's a pretty hard confirm getting off of the second one.
Oh, he just went for it. All right. Oh, no. He tried. That would have been a very hard confirm to get. Dang, he's keratized it up pretty quick, too. I hope you like my 15 setups for Oki. Yeah. I mean, realistically, there's only like... There's probably about two that you... There's probably two or three you have to really be careful about. Uh, two, or, two or three. One of them being the unblockable, but the other two are mix-ups from uh, like... Which option he does beforehand. I don't think it's nearly as big of a, a deal. Once that you finally lie about everything. But you have to be on point. If you're, if you're not on point. Then you basically get. Let more of them get free. I think uh I think a problem here is that Kira Like Kira's doing a lot of chase down, but once as he's in, like I get so much reaction. I think about how many times he can get the reaction off, right? You get to here, no reaction. Get to there, no reaction. You let that one go. No reaction off of that. And by the time he does a reaction, is it's off of like, let me guess, right? It's just like Kira's leaving a lot of damage on the table just off of waiting for opportunity to come. But those opportunities are being missed right then and there. Oh, I should have went with it. So yeah, I, I'm liking how Kuromu plays because he's he's doing a healthy balance of being back and forth. Hey, nice whiff punish. That's free. That's twice he's did it now. Oh. Yeah, that's a safe. That's a safe Oki right there. You can't do anything against it. Yeah, Karoma's playing on point. He knows that Kira is not reacting to most of his uh options. So once as you get, once as you can recognize that, I mean, you're just you're just trying to make it as a steamroll at that point. I definitely love to see Kira be a little bit more uh, on the reaction perspective. Oh, this is a good start for him. Oh, no, he mixed the combo. Okay. Saves a little bit of damage. That wasn't a punish, right? Was that a punish? I think it was a punish just because he didn't go into like a CADC or anything. That might be the only case it was a punish. Now the pillar's gonna come. Oh, good jump. Hey, you gotta take this setup. See these these harder reads, this is where the this is where killer's problem is coming in. Like that fort Y right there. He's losing a lot of damage off of that just because of the reactions isn't there. He's going for hard guesses, man. Yeah, that's the that's the no fly zone, man. <laughs> Or why it's so good at actually just stopping people from jumping. It's the mix up. Oh. Uh. 
This is big damage too. Backdash? Uh, I'm not sure why. Backdash against Shadow Mewtwo isn't nearly as strong just because of neutral Y. Oh, this kills? Whoa. Yo, that was a sick combo. That was a good combo. I like that. Either way, you might have a brain fire. It's possible. Hey, you see how much he's using. Uh, once again, Kira doesn't isn't really using fire punch at all. Yep. That wasn't a plus one, so. This part sucks. You take all this chip, man. Pops a burst. I guess he thought a grab was going to come there. Man, Karomu was really close to closing that out. But Kira, Kira actually stepping it up just a tad now. Hey, you can see, you can start seeing this matchup, man. This matchup is slowly becoming this. Mewtwo needs to chase down Shadow Mewtwo because Shadow Mewtwo doesn't want to actually see you being free. Shadow Mewtwo hates freedom. He's like, this is my world. You do what I say. So it's like, if you're far away, he's like, here's Pillar. Come close to me. If you're too close, he teleports. He's like, I don't want to deal with this. Shadow Mewtwo is very much elite. He's he's like, he's a, he's a tyrant. He's like, yo... Do this my way, or we're not doing this at all. I mean, that could be pretty hard on a lot of characters. If you're not prepared to deal with uh, Shadow Mewtwo's mix-ups, man, it eats you alive. Wow, that beat it? Whoa. Got the good timing off of it. That's twice. Yep. Take this. They have to deal with Burst sitting in the corner, though. Oh, no. He gave up the space. Nice. Good punish. See, now you can sort of see that he's playing a little bit more reactive. Kira's actually playing a little bit better off of this now. Hmm. I don't think that combo is worth it as much. Oh, nice. That's a tough one to deal with, man. That's a tough one to deal with, especially when you've reacted with uh, 8Y. But it didn't go high enough. So. Sometimes you just might have to just go for the air to air. Nice tech. Oh, no block on there. It's a small punish from there. Yeah, let him go. Oh, did it too early. I wonder if it, uh, JA would have been better. He almost died from that. <laughs> Dude, how much does the, uh, do the two do? Do the second one does. How much does the second just frame do? That's so much damage. Uh, that would have shell break. Uh. All right, Kira almost on burst too though. I 
I think if it's one thing to deal with in a fill phase, right? In fill phase, uh, there's a certain range where you're kind of okay for most characters. It's about... It's just about outside of his flamethrower range, or at the, uh, for some characters. For the other characters, it's like the tip of forward Y. Um, where Shadow Mewtwo, his projectiles are definitely powerful, but you can deal with them much better in between those two ranges. And I feel like if you use that and use a off of reaction, like there, there's not much that Shadow Mewtwo can do without trying to make a harder read for it to get the to get the win. Yeah, that's a free grab right there. Gotta deal with this mix up. That's not that bad. You can take that though. Oh. Alright, take it back. It was pretty bad. Yep, takes a shield break, mix up. Yep. Hey man. That was good for Karomu. He was starting to Kira was starting to figure it out at the very last minute. But too little too late. 